So in this video, we are going to see the next uh, uh, users tab. The last video was about locations. Let's see the users in Teams. <coughs> so it will list, it's loading. It's gonna list all of my users that here and the, the locations, where are they? And it will be based on their login information. You can see, so all the user listed here with their usernames here and then phone numbers if if you remember from the devices we can get them phones we can assign them and in the last video we saw how to assign policies to that those phone numbers how they are will connect how they will call in are they allowed to call <coughs> um, international numbers or not and all that then their location is here then policies policies are what policies are um, they're applied to these users now this policy is this one if you uh, I don't remember we applied it to Bill or who that uh, custom policy but we'll see that and then there is the directory status that says online so like uh, they are connected and then over here we can interpret user type apply and there will be another let's see <laughs> anyway <clears throat> and this is the filter we can filter display name and match off the like uh, how to show these users and um, we can change if different options and you see dial plan right there so this is to filter what's being shown on here like user and imagine if you have hundreds and thousands of teams users uh, and you will see that because in just one floor we have set over 1700 people imagine how many people will be in one building in on five floors and then how many will be there nationwide in a large organization <coughs> so and uh, global globally <laughs> for that matter so let's see what is the policy for Ellen now for Alan, uh, if we click on Alan, it will show. I should actually I should go back and find one of my account. The reason is that I sent some message, so I want to see that uh, if it shows uh, message data here or not. So it will be. I believe it will be this one or not. Alan had a lot. <clears throat> more options so let's go with Alan then so here you can see that that's the send message if you want to send message from here as an admin uh, you can launch application Skype for business you can open Skype for business on your computer will load and if applicable like if it's uh, I don't think okay it's there I can send him but they'll still get the message so So this is how if you have a Skype for Business install and it's configured with your organization, uh, you can send them. Uh, on my desktop, I have not configured it, so that that's why it didn't. It's not letting me do anything. This is the Allen email address. Directory status is saying null, but should be there. Seven day quality data is not available because Allen has not sent or receive any messages. <clears throat> this is the email if you were to send an email email client will open up like this again You can see that I have not set up my email client on my desktop. So that's why I cannot See that So I'm gonna close it out, but that's how you do it from the admin uh, Portal you can directly contact them from within here. This is Alan's email address You don't have to copy paste write an email and send it away. No, you can just click those links and do your coordinations the under account information nothing is showing under voice it will be outbound calling like what Alan is allowed <coughs> is he call allowed to call any destination in the same country or region where the phone is for example uh, back in the day you were uh, from one city to the other city you had to pay extra you had to get the long distance on um, then 
it became nationwide the nationwide is free right now we there are phone plans that allow you to call not only nationwide the united states you can call canada and mexico free as well it will be just one charge and you're allowed to do as many calls as you want so <clears throat> do you see any destination that means globally in the same country or region based on your cell phone provider that uh, how many uh, countries uh, all three countries or just united states for, for my example if you are in europe or you're in asia it will be different based on what that company is providing over there and second is don't allow you don't want ellen to be able to make calls whatsoever <clears throat> group call pickup this is a very interesting feature so this is uh, mm, it can it can be implemented in many ways but what it means is that each of their phone ring not simultaneously but one by one so they will set up hey for three bells ring this phone and obviously if that person ha is busy it's not on his desk he is not big he has not picked up his phone the next phone will ring same will go so i had to call in once and it ran through a few and then this man <laughs> the floor manager picked up the phone so that's how it works it could be a <clears throat> in my case it was uh, it went through from supervisors to you know somebody in hr or um, mostly in supervisor or the manager uh, in the team policy it will be that you're five guys in a team and uh, you have a team leader as well that could be six or that could be the fifth guy and then somebody from the outside or even those one of those fives they need to call and you know contact them about something it could be a vendor or it can be a provider and they have to get in touch with your team about something and they are calling uh, and what will happen is they will call the first uh, they will just dial one number and it will go one by one to until somebody picks up and if nobody picks up obviously it will end up in the voicemail so that's what it is you can add people you can search those people like five people their phone number you have to, you obviously you have uh, have had you sh should have assigned them in, in the uh, before doing this step and then for example i'm gonna add imran if it shows up okay you can add him and then again and add him and if apply now <coughs> ring ring how do you want it so they it will ring first if he doesn't pick up it will go to the second and what's the many second before redirecting the call so what will happen is for 20 second it will ring his phone if somebody is worse to call and then it will <coughs> ah it could be in order of table rows so there are two things so it it will ring simultaneously all in uh, this example both of their phones but uh, in another if it's five people uh, it will ring all five and whoever picks up first you know and or you can do the other thing that was i was talking about in order of table rows <clears throat> like it will ring first this one then this one and so on <clears throat> call delegation is that if you want to Um, delegation basically means that somebody is doing something on your behalf for example you are supposed to you are a VI uh, V vice president or you're a manager and uh, <clears throat> you want your secretary or you want your supervisor who is underneath you you know somebody to make the contact on behalf of you if you're not available that's what call delegation is so if uh, like if both of these team leaders uh, they cannot for example they were manager they can add uh, this another person to return the call or pick up the call and talk on their behalf and all mostly it will be yeah I will I get what you 
I've gotten it in the notes. I will get back to get to that person and have them call you or get back to you personally. So that will be this person's duty about that. So that's how uh, this thing works. Call history, it will list. It's not showing anything, but call history will list everything that user has dialed in or out. And these are the policies. If you remember, we had changed one. Oh, we did change it for him. Uh, no, we did not. So from here, we can, uh, sorry, go back. So from here, we could edit it. If it's not, we don't want the uh, custom policy for this user, we could add it. And we could select uh, team for teams. We could select one, two, three, or sales stats. And basically, that uh, policy, if you remember, was to do you want, do we want this user to be able to search uh, private uh, groups, search for them? He will see them. Uh, do you do you want him to do or not? Um, obviously, you want that for the very low end users, uh, not be able to unless they get to a leadership role a role to see all everything important or hidden groups or private groups for that matter and <clears throat> the other one was is the user allowed to make private groups and obviously if it's private group nobody else a supervisor etc cannot see it uh, so we don't want uh, you know the grassroots level users to have access to those features that's where it will be handy policy packages there there are different but it's a list of policy packages this is like again uh, uh, because office 365 covers everything from all uh, institutes all walks of life so there are different policies that can be implemented using secondary school higher school teacher and then there I think there's a college as well so there are different policy packages that can be applied from here this card and over seven days activity was that uh, how many meetings they have indented and how many calls they have made so pretty easy let's get back to users again and uh, it was probably this one but definitely it could be as land nothing there so nothing is being shown against account at the moment let me see if I can see for Ali nothing but it, it's it's a soup United States all that so very easy stuff for the users it's uh, very easy uh, it's the managing users for the teams and we're not talking about users in Office 365 there could be some users that are in Office 365 they are using different uh, uh, products over there but if they have not uh, activated teams they will not show up here so that's how it works if like if they were given selective rights to be able to use different products in Office 365 and they were not given right to use this or they have not signed up for teams voluntarily they will not show up here if let's wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one